Mama Hoss here. Come with me in the garden and let's gather some kale. We're going to make some Zuppa Toscana soup. Isn't this kale pretty? It's just so nice to come out here in the garden and gather what you need. Come join me in the kitchen. First, I'm going to take a pound of sausage. This is Italian mild sausage. You can use the hot, the medium, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna brown this up. You just wanna get it brown. You don't have to overcook it because you're gonna cook it a little bit more when you put it in the soup. Next, we're gonna take some broth that I canned back at Thanksgiving with my turkey bones. I have really enjoyed using this broth. Can't wait to make some more after my Christmas dinner. So a quart of broth and then a half a quart of water. And that's all the broth you'll need. So we're gonna turn this on, get it boiling good, get it ready for our potatoes to go in. So we're gonna get the potatoes ready. I like to leave the peelings on. Just take out any bad spots and the eyes, wash them up really well. And the potatoes, the amount of potatoes, just depends on what you prefer. I use this colander full for this bowl of soup. Sometimes I use less, sometimes I use more. And we like them chunky in big chunks. For other soups, I do it smaller, but for this, particular soup, I like them in big chunks. So I'm gonna put this in my broth and boil them till tender. Now we're gonna get the kale ready. I like to take the stems out, wash them up really well, and then cut them into bite-sized pieces. Then we'll just set this aside while we get the other stuff ready to go in the soup. This kale will be the last thing I add. Next, let's get our onions together. This is some multiplied onions from Greg's garden. We have so enjoyed these. He calls this the Tom, T-H-O-M variety. And we should have some next fall for sale if I don't use them all. I have to sneak up there and get them. And sometimes he catches me. But they have been so good, so plentiful. I'll cut these tops off. Chop them up, and I'll use the tops to garnish the soup at the end. And I cut these up rather chunky also. So right in that same pan where I cooked that sausage, I'm going to brown these onions on medium-high until they're just softened and lightly brown. Oh, this smells so good. Add a little bit of olive oil if you need to. So they'll move around in that pan real well. Now that these are brown, we're going to add them to our potatoes that all tender and that broth that we heated up earlier. Just give that a stir and then next add our drained sausage. And we're going to give that a stir. Ooh, isn't that looking good? Now ours is rather thick, but that's how we like it. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of minced garlic. I did not have fresh garlic to use, so I didn't have to saute this. And then I'm gonna add a can of cream of chicken soup. Now, if you don't wanna use the cream of chicken soup, you can add a cup of heavy cream. I just prefer to use the cream of chicken soup. Give that a stir. And then the very last thing I do is add the kale right on top. And I do not stir this. I'll just put my lid on and let it simmer on low for about 15 minutes and it will be ready. Look um, how amazing this is. Let's see how Mr. Haas likes it. Some of you may struggle on how to incorporate kale into some of your recipes. This soup here that Mama Hoss makes is a wonderful addition on those cool evenings where you want something nice and hearty to eat. 
Finishing touches is some peppered bacon. And we like our multiplying onion tops, kind of chopped up. And some shredded cheese. Not only is it good for you, it's good to you.